Tim, you bring uh, quite a lot of Belia machines into stock here at White House Machine Tools. Uh, firstly, why select this model to bring into stock, the 565YS? Well, we really go for maximum flexibility. We try and choose the machines with as much equipment and capabilities as we can. So this model will have, uh, as well as the 65mm main spindle, we've got a powerful sub-spindle, driven tools on every station on the turret, We've got the uh, Y-axis, C-axis, tool setter, parts conveyor. We really just go for, it's better to have and not need than to need and not have. I'd rather be overselling technology to a customer uh, to help future-proof him. And, and talking about technology, the, the Belia range is quite extensive. I mean, you do have a lot of choice when you must be bringing one of these machines in because you've got twin turrets, you've got three turrets. Yeah, right. Tell me a little bit about the technology that Belia offer and, and maybe some of the points you would point out to a customer coming here to look at this machine. Well, Belia is a small family company uh, and it's not a brand a lot of people have heard of, but their technology is fantastic. Uh, and in fact, their uh, range really focuses on the higher end of the market we want to concentrate on. So multi-spindle and multi-turret technology is something they've been involved in for 25 years. They've had a chance over that time to really get into the wrinkles and iron out all the bugs. So we benefit from uh, a lot of technology other manufacturers perhaps aren't able to offer. Conversely, we can't always compete at the other end of the market. If you come to me for a simple 8-inch chucker, it's probably not our bag. We tend to focus, like Belia do, on the higher end of the market with this multi-axis, bar in, part out, lights off, unman running. That's where we want to get to. And, and this particular model here, we've already said it's in stock, it's a twin spindle with a, with a single turret. You do face a lot of competition in this market. Uh, how do you compete when someone comes here? What do you push? Speed, for one. Uh, as I say, Belia have uh, had a an opportunity over all those years to iron out a lot of the wrinkles and to optimise things. The transfer times uh, and those sort of sequences are really, really very quick on Belia. So we think that's an advantage. Build quality is an advantage. They don't build an enormous range. They're very focused. I think that gives them uh, the opportunity to perhaps uh, be a master of that particular area rather than a, a jack of all trades. And that's a good point because I did visit a, a UK engineering company not so long ago who was I think the biggest Belia user in the country and they had 12 machines but some of them were dating back many many years and still going strong. Yeah they've had them since before I was here so and they'll probably be going a long time after I'm not here so yeah it's a uh, it, they're only building 500 machines a year and uh, they build them with care. They're all hand assembled and uh, they take great pride in their products. So with you bringing this machine in stock, it's available. How, how quickly could somebody have this that was looking at maybe that um, twin spindle turning solution? Well, it's first come best dressed. It's here and it's ready to go. Uh, Belia, as I say, have a limited uh, amount of machines uh, that we can uh, take to the UK and uh, Really, it's limited to one or two machines a month at the moment. So, yeah, it's here. But and, and when someone's investing in technology like this, they need the support. You know, it's not. It's it's, it's a machine that's a big investment uh, and that's going to return, obviously. But they need to know that they're going to be comforted by the uh, supplier, by yourselves. How do you do that? Yeah, well, I think actually that's uh, that's one of our plum selling cards. The uh, you know our business is a small business, uh, like Belia's, a small family-owned business. We've got three applications engineers in-house seven service engineers it's the background really and the the support that goes on and notice that does give us a, a, an added string to our bow we don't limit training you know if someone's moving into this technology for the first time and, and you'll have visited a few of the customers we don't limit the training we'll help them engineer their first components we'll help them stabilize the process so they can be unmanned and we'll go back as many times as they need us without charging and I've seen evidence of that at Dicker Precision down on the south coast. Very impressed with not only the machine, but the support that you've given them on, on their product. Yeah, and I think that's one of the uh, uh, trump cards in uh, Mark Dicker having come back to us uh, straight away for another machine. Oh, I didn't even know that, so uh, good point. So on this then, Tim, finally, what does it come with? Uh, and just give us a, a very quick rundown of the size of the machine. Okay, so it's a Fanuc 32i control and drives the motors all around. It's 65mm sub. It's five inch, uh, so 65 mil main, five inch sub, 12 stations on the driven turret. Um, we have uh, Y axis, high pressure through tool coolant, part conveyor your guys might be able to pick up here, and tool setter, plus the conveyor to evacuate the swarf, and that's all in, good to go.